Hello, this is Will Whitfield from W3 Productions, and this is a follow-up to my last uh, video tutorial on how to export a Dash Studio character into Chrome Dash Studio and import it into Blender 3D. In this video, I wanted to follow up on something I touched on briefly, and that is the fact that Morse and Dash Studio sometimes become distorted in Blender and I have a workaround I wanted to share but also this is an invitation to anyone that may have a better method on dealing with this issue so to start off I want to demonstrate the issue by animating a character or posing a character in Dash Studio uh, importing it in Blender and show you how what the results are and how I get around it sometimes uh, right here we have in Dash Studio 4.1 or 4.10 uh, a character based off the Genesis 2 figure. He's called Corey Six. He's available in the Dash Store. Um, what I want him to do is to stand at a rest position with his hands at his side, then start to point and smile. Let's go ahead and do that. First, I will pose his arm down frame zero like so moving the arm bones rotating them downward now I want to go ahead and animate well this is it for frame zero so everything else is going to be at frame 20 so I'm going to move the timeline to 20 I'm going to go ahead and animate the smiling action so click on the figure, go to Corey 6 in the parameters tab, and then in the search filter I'm going to search for the term smile. I'm going to use the morph called smile open full face. I'm going to put in a value of 0.95 and then we want to animate the hand pointing so two actions first is a fist and then we're going to unbend the index finger so just zooming in here we have clicked on the left hand and then we're going to click on the left hand in the parameters tab clear out the search filter and scroll down to left hand fist we're going to give that a value of 0.95 so the hand is in the fist posed and now to point we're going to go to the left index finger bend now we give it a positive value that will not help us but if we give it a negative value it will so we're going to give it a negative 0.95 now we just want him to point forward so I'm going to rotate the arm forward about 90 degrees and to make it a little bit more natural rotate the hand at the wrist like so and just to demonstrate scrub the timeline resting to pointing forward and smiling so this is our animation and we would then export our character in the FDX format by going to file export I already have them saved. I'm just going through the motion to show you the options I use. So I call my figure B ball point. Save. In my case, it wants me to overwrite. Say yes for now. Now these are the export options I used. Selected figures, animations, locks, limits, morphs. And these are the output options I used. And I'm using the FBX 2014 binary format. Um, 
then you would hit accept and then it will begin the export process. I already have mine saved so I'm going to hit cancel and go straight to Blender. I already have open Blender 2.79 where I've imported my figure. I will briefly go over what I did. Uh, so I would went to file, import, FBX, and then under the import options, under the main tab, I made sure that the use pre-post rotation was unchecked. And under the armature tab, that automatic bone orientation was checked. Select your file, hit import FBX, and you would end up with a result like this. Here's the character. As we scroll, scroll up the timeline, you see that the smile, while a little bit creepy, uh, is just fine, but the hand is not fine at all. You see that the fingers have grown in size too long and we have a fist of some sort but no pointing. The bones in the armature do not move with Morse. It's all done with blender shape keys. So we have to manipulate those to get the results that we want. So I'm going to right click to select the skin mesh and then go to the object data tab and here we have our shape keys we have two for every morph that we used so we have two for the index finger one here one at the bottom two for the face and two for the fist one has a uh, like left hand control hand fist, the other one has Genesis 2 male and with something similar. Um, I'm going to use the ones without the Genesis 2 male in them. I'm not sure what the differences are, but um, it seems to work for our workaround. So, what I realize is that if you take the value of the shape key and mess with it a little bit, go up, it gets worse, go down. It actually looks like a better fist, so what I will do is use the range values to achieve this effect. So I will use the min value of 0 and use the max value of 0.1. So when I scrub the timeline again, I go from a rest position to a fist. That looks a lot better, but we don't have the pointing finger, so we're going to go to the control index bend. If we go up that to one, that doesn't help, that makes it worse. We must remember that we use negative values in DAS for the pointing thing finger, so we'll do the same here. So we'll make this a minimum of negative 0.9 and a max value of zero. So now when we scrub the timeline we go from rest position to a pointing position. And there we have our animation. Now this works for a lot of cases but there are some issues here. And basically the issues have to deal with the um, in between keyframes. So let's go to like key, or I'm sorry, let's go to frame 10, this in between. And we see that the basically the fingers do not bend as a normal human hand would bend. Instead of doing something like this, they um, morph or, or deflate and inflate like a balloon. So we have kind of nubby type fingers here instead of bending fingers. Show you at frame six. They're deflating. Go to 16. You can see that they're basically taking up shape 
this again. But at 13, they are just starting to reinflate. So this process will work, or this method will work, if you're doing a quick animation such as this one, where somebody's very quickly uh, pointing forward, making a sudden hand gesture. But if you're doing something slower, where like a slow grasp, uh, you wouldn't be able to use this method. It would be a lot more obvious what's going on. So maybe someone out there has a better method and be willing to share in the comments or some through some other means we'd love to hear from you um, this is the workaround I wanted to share thank you for watching and God bless before you go thanks for watching be sure to like subscribe and support us on patreon peace and blessings